Hey guys, you like the shiny white background? Um, this is my new desk. I We went to Ikea on Sunday um, and I set it up pretty much Sunday night and uh, everything is gorgeous and huge and I'm loving it. Um, and I'm going to be doing a sort of office tour video in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but for now, let's just focus on, um, this is actually a requested vin uh, video. It was Wendy asked uh, to see how I set up my weeklies and my <coughs> dailies and monthlies and things. But we're gonna start with the weekly. Um, I wanted to record this over the weekend and actually like plan out my week, um, but I did not get a chance to because I was busy going to Ikea, suffering a devastating Vikings loss, and then um, setting up my desk. So uh, I, instead I actually, I'm recording this on Monday. So I already set up my dailies for Monday through Thursday, just, you know, space for them. And I, cause I needed to get a lot of stuff done on Monday and I checked a lot of it off. Um, filming this video, I'll be able to check that off. So this is sort of the color scheme we're going with. Um, these are the two, these are from Michael's. They were given to me as a birthday gift. So I am not sure much more about them, but I believe they were from Michael's and they're just, yeah, some fun, colorful washi tapes. And this is the color scheme that I'm going to be going with for the weekly. So I actually have like a list here of some things that I'm going to be putting on my weekly to-do list because I kind of had to think of that when I was planning what to do with my day. But uh, I haven't put it on my planner yet, so it doesn't count, right? Anyway, uh, today I think I'm going to be doing slightly different layout than usual. Uh, instead of having the washi tape across the top, I'm going to have it down the middle. Um, because I wanted to see if that looked cool, if I can get that to, to look cool. So I think that I sort of lay it like this with the non-sticky side, get it nice and down in the crease, and then we'll just kind of close it, see if that works. Oh, no, that did not work. Got to tear it first. All right, it's all good. It mostly worked. Excuse me. All right, and then I'm gonna lay it on the other side. Same thing. Uh, I wanted to see if maybe matching it up like this would be something I wanted to try to do. Maybe not, maybe so. Hmm. It seems that maybe the repeats on this pattern are longer than I thought. Let me see. Yeah, see that? Interesting. Well, let's do it anyway. Um, yeah, no, okay. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself here about where I want this to lay down. All right, there we go. That'll do. This washi tape is from Daiso. I like it because it's like a really basic uh, floral washi that's like, I don't know, it uh, doesn't call too much attention to itself. It's just a nice little pop of flowers, a little frise, uh, wherever you need it. All right, so I think I showed this, I don't remember which video I showed it in, but my trick <laughs> for cutting my washi tape is I just use it's a little scissors on my Swiss Army knife. This is just a normal like five function or five, five multi-tool uh, so set me knife and I'm just gonna use these tiny little scissors to cut cut and I want to make sure not to cut the rubber band see I'm gonna try to do it from this side I usually do it sticky side up if I can but I also prefer to have the tape on the right and the paper on the left so I can see what I'm doing better. That looks right, yes. It's a little bit wobbly. Notice I'm doing all this without bothering to like take it out of the traveler's notebook or anything. I'm just, yeah. 
It's close enough. And if I don't have anything sticky sticking out the top of the page, then all the better. On this side. Does anyone have a good tip or trick for what to do with your little pieces of cut or torn washi ends? Uh, before you can get to a trash can, because I'm currently sort of sticking mine to the edge of my desk in kind of a pile that will get thrown away later. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I'm gonna forget them or something. Anyway, so I think I'm starting to feel like I have sort of a grip on things. Um, like I kind of uh, can commit to like doing stuff so putting stuff on my to-do list and then actually getting it done, kind of. I'm probably speaking ahead of myself. But I think um, it would be good for me to do a um, video production schedule on one side of this weekly. That's something that I've kind of, I was using for a long time and then I decided I didn't really need the checklist anymore. Um, what I did have going was a tracker on top. I think there's a couple things here that I want to work on multiple days and maybe I will just highlight those is what I'll do. That's really what it comes down to is like do I, I if there's things that I want to do multiple days or every day like a tracker I want to keep those together just so that I can use that as a like oh have you done this 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 today. Um, I don't think there's anything I need to get done daily in my life right now that I can't get done just by force of habit from like my morning routine includes taking my vitamins so and I have a reminder on my phone for that anyway um yeah there's just a few like projects that are things that I'm going to want to check off multiple times on my to-do list um so yes I am going to be I'm going to use the uh the Alistair method so I'm going to go ahead and start with that, today is the 22nd. So we'll put those dates across the top. This is my Pigma Micron 03, the super old looking one that uh, my husband found in a box of his stuff and it still works fantastically, so I kind of love it. It's an 03. Did I say that? I think I did. Uh, yes, 28. Hey, gotta pay extra attention when you're writing numbers because it is so easy to just mess that up. 25. Count with me. We're in kindergarten. And those are seven numbers and they are all in sequence. And I think we can count that as a win. All right, I'm going to let that dry before I go highlighting over them. Like the Pigma does dry pretty quickly and this is pretty porous paper. It's probably fine, but I'm going to do other things first. Okay, uh, yeah, let's start by taking this to-do list that I've made for myself and copying it down over here. So I want to put, start with this column here next to the, uh, the dates. I could start like the one column over so that you have a room, uh, like a column for migration to the next week. But I've taken up some of my um, horizontal space with this washi tape in the middle, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's see. Oh, I don't need to do this thing. I just did that today. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking. No, I decided I wasn't going to put the things that I want to do multiple times per week. I'm just going to highlight. Uh, let's see. I also, for myhogwarts.com, which I know I mention it a lot, um, but if you or anyone you know are big fans of Harry Potter, 
and enjoy online forums and meeting cool people and activities and stuff, you should check out myhogwarts.com. Um, one of the things I do on my Hogwarts is uh, I run an annual podcast. A year on MH is uh, a quarter of a year in real life. So the last, it's like every three months that this podcast goes out. And it's next week is the week that I have to be working on editing it because it's going down. Sorry, it's going out on the 5th. And other things are also happening that weekend. Oh, no, you know what? This one. I am going to paint my nails, but I was going to film it. And I'm going to put all the video stuff on this side. So yeah, look forward to that. I'm uh, just going to paint my nails because it's been weeks and weeks that they've been completely bare and I'm getting tired of it and they're getting all chipped and stuff like this one here. No, you can't really see. I also filed it so it's not as sharp, but it's like the edge of it chipped off just today. And uh, yeah, I don't like it. I just want polish on my nails again. I want to be able to look at them and go, oh, that's nice for a change. So I figured I would film it in like a chat, but I have to figure out what I'm going to chat about. So if you have any topics for a rambly video that you want me to discuss, then go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Um, and I guess depending on whether I find time to paint my nails before this video goes out or after, that could be for this video or for another one. Do have uh, lots of video ideas coming up, but I'm always open to suge suggestions if you have any. Okay. I think the headers have dried sufficiently, so I'm going to go ahead and just use this is the um, mild liner, uh, zebra, zebra mild liner in the teal color. I don't know if they have colors but I think it calls it like pale pastel teal or something like that on like the jet pens website. Uh, here we go. Just a little bit of a stripe. This is like throwback to last January, the way I did my headers at the earlier part of last year. All right. Uh, let's see. This is the tab I have for my YouTube video. So here's a spoiler. I'm not going to bother to hide it. I've done these, you know what, while I'm here. This is the sound of me opening drawers and finding pens. Ooh, no, red one. Let's use the red one. It's another zebra. I'm just going to highlight the ones that have gone out already. This one and this one. This is the one I'm filming currently. Uh, so, yes. This one, this one. This one, this one, and this one. I'm trying to think how many I really have time to like, or have room, I mean, to um, to put on here, but I would like to get ahead because we have some stuff coming up in a couple weekends that uh, is going to complicate matters. But it always starts with film. edit and thumbnail because I kind of do those in one step and then upload description man I love these frictions description and then end screen because that has to be after everything is uploaded so that's is B32, which is currently rendering as I'm filming this. Even though that's not on here, I still have to get it done. It just needs less uh, planning of topics. And then this weekly setup, which is what we're doing right now. Um, 
then it'll be ah yes ah, I've gotten forgotten though I will give credit um, for the person whose idea this was uh, in next Sunday's video but I have already forgotten who that was right now but I will find out uh, let's see then we're gonna do a monthly insert that I have printed out from Annie Plans but have not set up yet so I'm gonna set that up and that will be next Thursday's video and then I'm not even going to say film, I'm just going to say paint nails. Paint nails. And I was going to do a get ready with me because I can. Got a whole brand new um, morning routine now that we have a house and I'm also like second trimester like trying to get into the habit of eating more and more often um yeah so I'm trying to get into a habit of uh eating breakfast every day so that's part of it and hey if I film it then like I'll be sure to not lay in bed for too long watching YouTube videos or playing puzzle games um all right I can fill most of this out later. Um, the last thing I just need to do. All right, so here, see, I have like this teal color as the header, and that's why I picked this teal color. So it's just slightly different, but it's similar enough as like the accent here. But I think I need a second color. Um, I don't want to do everything in blue. So my options are like purple. I think I'm going to go with this red because I've got the blue flowers and then I have the red flowers. So everything here that's like a project that I need to do multiple times, which is like this. I'm going to work on that over multiple days. Wow, that's very dark. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Unpacking multiple days. And yes. And then on this side, gonna highlight the name of every video oh see this is like a very optimistic view of what I can get done this week but a lot of these are things that I can film in advance and so I figure I'm going to um, so yeah I just have to now fill out like the rest of basically copy these three lines uh, all the way down here and then that is gonna be my weekly setup so this is my my weekly page for the week of January 22nd to 28th uh, 2018 2018 and then this is some of my dailies that come after that um, I'm trying out doing like a like setting out space ahead of time um, which I hadn't been doing I mean what I have been doing for the last, since the beginning of the year, is really just using this insert as like a scribble scribble. Like I, this is the first day uh, all month, and it's the 22nd, uh, that I have used color or anything in this journal. It has all just been, this is the office layout, by the way. I'm gonna do that office tour right here, if I get around to it. So yeah, I have not been decorating anything all month. Um, but like I said, I'm sort of starting to feel like I have my feet underneath me and that I can um, maybe try to get back into a little bit more of a decorative style because, yeah, I'm, uh, I actually just today ordered a new uh, Traveler's Notebook cover off the buy, uh, one of the buy sell trade groups on Facebook. Um, it is not a Chic Sparrow, but I'm going to leave it at that and I will show it to you once it's set up. Um, which I don't know, I'm not sure how long it'll take to get here or when I'm gonna have it set up. So that might actually push some of these videos back, but um, yeah, you won't know what's coming until it's there. That's the way I'm operating right now. What was I saying? I'm setting up, uh, you know, like boxes ahead of time for each day as sort of a trial. I'm thinking I might want to look into getting a printable day per page. Um, 
insert because sometimes I kind of like having that. I kind of like um, the idea of being able to sort of compartmentalize or separate my tasks and say like, these are the things that need to be done on the computer. These are the things that are like chores around the house. Here's a spot on the page to list what we're having for dinner and then stuff like that. Um, like for example, this column here is like in order my evening schedule after work, you know, with the exception of asking Gino to get French bread, which I did via text while I was at work. But the rest is like, I filmed, then I made dinner, then I edited, then I'm filming, and then I have to work on the talk I'm giving at confirmation tomorrow. Um, so I still have to like set up for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm giving this sh a, a shot, but I've only set up through Thursday. If I decide I hate this, then I will not set up Friday and the weekend that way. Um, and yeah, that's all. I kind of like the color scheme here. It's a little bit patriotic, but like I like that these match the washi tape, even though it doesn't match this page as well as I thought it would. Um, yeah, this will do. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Wendy for the, uh, the suggestion. And don't forget to stay tuned and uh, subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming videos, which you've gotten to see. You probably can't read them now that they are highlighted because it's a fairly dark highlighter. What was I saying? See you guys in the next one. Talk to you then. Bye. Thank you.